Hi, welcome to the eCam channel. This is John. In the last episode, Xue Hang introduced charge transfer rate in the context of electrochemical ion intercalation. There are several parameters that can be determined experimentally related to the charge transfer processes, including charge transfer resistance, charge transfer activation energy, exchange current density, and the rate constant. This time, I will do a quick review of how they are connected to each other. Before we dive into the equations, let's briefly review the experimental techniques used to determine these parameters. Charge transfer resistance can be determined from AC impedance spectroscopy or electrochemical impedance spectroscopy. It is typically done by fitting the Nyquist plot with equivalent circuits like this one for battery electrodes. Using the charge transfer resistance obtained at different temperatures, one can determine the charge transfer activation energy. In electrocatalysis and corrosion science, linear sweep voltammetry and cyclic voltammetry is used to create the Tafel plot and determine the exchange current density. For diffusionless electrochemical systems, Laviron proposed that a rate constant can be determined from the variation of peak potentials as a function of sweep rate. Each parameter here can be used to describe charge transfer processes and the choice depends on the field of study. For example, exchange current density is important to corrosion science because it can help calculate the corrosion rate in the unit of millimeter per year with the help of Faraday's laws of electrolysis. Since all of them are connected fundamentally, next I will review a couple of kinetic concepts and present the relationships among them. Let's warm up with some homogeneous chemical reaction kinetics taught in general chemistry. When two substances A and B are linked together by elementary reactions, the rate of reaction in the unit of molar per second can be described by the product of rate constant and concentration. The rates of forward, backward, and net conversion are shown here. The rate constant follows the Arrhenius relationship, where the A term represents the attempt frequency, the exponential term is the success rate, which is the probability of using thermal energy RT to overcome an activation energy barrier, EA. To predict the attempt frequency and activation energy based on molecular properties, researchers propose transition state theory where the reactions proceed through a well-defined transition state or activated complex. The different activation energy for the forward and backward reactions is clearly indicated by the standard free energies shown in this diagram. Many theories for homogeneous kinetics were adapted for electrokinetics. When the mass limitation is not present and kinetics are reaction limited, similar equations can be constructed for the reaction rates except that the units have been altered from molar per second to mole per square centimeter per second because the reaction happens at an interface. The values in the parentheses after the concentration of the oxidized form represent distance and time. A distance of zero represents the interface again. More conveniently than homogeneous kinetics, now the rate of reaction can be monitored by the current. Because a reduction reaction corresponds to cathodic current, we have a subscript C associated with the current. Equations for backward reaction and net conversion can be laid out in a similar way. The overall current for the net conversion is then the subtraction of the cathodic and anodic current. The rate constant still follows the Arrhenius equation but with a modified unit of centimeter per second. In addition, now, as we move away from equilibrium, the rate constant changes accordingly. The energy diagram on the right demonstrates this process. At the equilibrium, by definition, the forward and backward reactions have the same activation energy. As we apply a negative overpotential eta to the electrode, we shift the energy of the reduced form by nF eta. Accordingly, the activation energy is lowered by a fraction of that. That fraction is termed as transfer coefficient. Now we have different activation energies for the forward and backward reactions, and the values can be calculated from the activation energy at the equilibrium, transfer coefficient, and overpotential. With the relationship between activation energy and overpotential, we can plug the equations back to the overall current and obtain the Balavoma equation. It presents current density as a function of overpotential. We can find exchange current density J0 in this equation, Exchange current density represents the inherent activity of an electrode. For example, in the case of reduction of protons on platinum and mercury electrodes, 
while the net current will be zero at equilibrium in both cases, the exchange current density of platinum will be 10 billion times greater than that of mercury, indicative of excellent catalytic properties of platinum. At very small overpotentials, the butler volmo equation can be written as Taylor expansions and be approximated as the equation here. Since charge transfer resistance is the derivative of activation over potential over current, we can find the linear relationship here. Note that if the reaction is highly irreversible, this equation will not apply, and extrapolation from Tesla plot is more reliable. At last, as a visual aid, all equations are put together here to show the connections among the rate constant, activation energy, exchange current density, and the charge transfer resistance. In practice, the situation where some relationships can be valid is restrictive. I hope these explanations help you gain more insights into the parameters related to the charge transfer processes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. The videos in our eCam channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video again. See you next time.